Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would share a little outfit with you guys. This dress I wore to a kind of um, cocktail attired gala that my husband and I attended over the weekend. So I thought I would share this with you guys. This is from Rent the Runway. It is a gorgeous dress. I have been instructed to keep it, not to send it back because my husband really does like it. Um, but it's a good idea of something that you could rent um, for something that is not quite as dressy as some of my other Rent the Runway videos and also on the relatively cheaper end of the spectrum. This one was only $30. I had a credit, so it only cost me about $17 to rent it. The credit that I had was because I rented a gown about two weekends ago for a wedding, and at the last minute I decided not to rent the gown and switch to a dress. So I had a little bit of a credit left over from the difference of that, and I applied it to this, like I said. Now, Rent the Runway does not pay me to make videos for them or rent their dresses or anything like that. I rent the dresses frequently because I like to and because I like to have something to wear that's a little different to different occasions. Now, it's not superfluous by any means. Um, I stick to weddings and galas, um, more, you know, dressy events for renting. So it's not like I rent every weekend for, you know, just, I don't know, to go out with my husband or something. I stick to, like I said, weddings and dressier events only. Um, but I thought I would share this with you guys. So let me stand back there. So as you can see, it's just a very pretty, it's blue and black patterned. Um, it has pleats here and then kind of a rectangular back. It's really, really pretty. I honestly, it is a very well constructed, very, very nice dress. It flatters your shoulders more than anything else. Um, it's just, you know, this right here, it just opens it up and makes it so pretty. I just think it's really, really gorgeous. Um, and then, like I said, the back's really pretty. And this dress is by Eva, Eva Franco. And like I said, it was $30 for me to rent. I had a credit, so literally cost me less than $20 uh, for this dress. And that's why I love Rent the Runway for that reason. I could not have purchased a dress, even if it was at Express or, you know, Target even. I could not have purchased a dress for less than $20 um, or, you know, at, in the $20 price range that I could have worn to something very dressy. Um, so for me, I love the fact that I always have something to wear and I use Rent the Runway as my closet, like literally, literally, I just love it. Um, so there's that. And my shoes that I'm wearing, they are Christian Louboutins. They are the Rolando pumps. They're a little bit older. They're not as new as like the So Kate, the So Chads or any of those, but I love them. To me, they are very classic classic shoe. They've got the almond toe and then, you know, the platforms in here, but it's covered. It's hidden. They're about, I think they're three and a half, maybe four. It might be four. I think they're four because of the platform. I really, I don't know. I just know that these are the shoes that I love to wear when it comes to dressy occasions. I'm not so much, so much one to wear them just like out for the night. I have plenty of other shoes for that. My Louboutins I save specifically for special occasions um, just because I, I think it looks really pretty um, when they're dressed up. Other than that, I mean, I just ruin my shoes too much. I'm all over the place in them. So I would, I would wear them out way too quick. Um, but like I said, this to me is the classic shoe. And I think when you start to look into Christian Louboutins, you find very quickly what styles work for you and what styles don't. I love the Pigals. I absolutely love the Pigals. I don't like the way my feet look in the Pigals. I prefer the way my feet look in these. So that is my reasoning behind the Louboutin um, Rolandos. And if you, like, when you're trying to hunt a pair of Rolandos down, oh my gosh, it's horrible. Like the people here at Neiman Marcus in Houston, they're very nice and they have a good selection. 
but the man told my husband, you know those are so old, because we were looking for a pair of Rolandos there. Um, you know those are really old. He's like, so you're gonna have a hard time finding them. And my husband's like, well, they still make them, so we're going to find them. And he's like, but they're old. You know, maybe she should look at the Soak Hates. And he's like, she doesn't like that style. Like, we don't, she doesn't like that style. We don't want to buy that style. She doesn't like it. So it was just kind of, you know, they're very discouraging. They want you just to get what's in season and what's like right now. And for me, like I said, I just like the way my feet look better. And some of the other, you know, like the Bianca boots. I love the Bianca boots and they make them every year. They're for sale every year and everybody flocks to them for the fall. They don't look right on my calves. End of story. I can't wear them because they don't look right on my calves. And it's not, you know, oh, we don't want to pay that much or, oh, you know, we're just looking. No, they don't look right. The, there's a gap on my leg and I can't stand it. So, it, yeah. Anyway, so this is the dress I wore this weekend and I thought I would share it with you guys. On my face, I have NARS Biscayne Bay lipstick that I just threw and it landed on its head, so it's all smushed now. Um, but it's the NARS Biscayne. On my eyes, I've got the NARS Cordura, both the light and the dark shades. On my cheeks, I've got Chanel's uh, Tan de Soleil just in here and to sculpt my nose out. And then on top, I've got Shiseido Petal blush with some MAC well dressed right here on the apples blended in. I do have a highlight on. It's the MAC Accentuate um, highlighter and I just put it under here and then down the center of my nose and that's it. My lashes are the Red Cherries number 43s. So anyway, I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend and I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.